All right, so this is the life of a digital man, nomad. I'm sitting in Walmart with two computers using their Wi-Fi because our Wi-Fi sucks out at the campground. So I have both computers running, both updating, or updating programs, and then also uploading videos to YouTube that we have. Um, otherwise, it'll take like 12 hours to do on our connection out at the campground. So being a digital nomad, something that's really important is internet. Um, while on the road, we have to you know upload videos, maintain our website, you know update our blog, keep active in social media, and that can be tough sometimes. Um, when we initially started our journey, we started with um, we each have a smartphone, and then we also started with a Verizon MiFi jetpack. Um, this is basically mobile broadband um, connects to a cell tower just like a cell phone but it creates a Wi-Fi network and then you can connect to it with your computers um, tablets and whatever um, for the most part you know we've done really well uh, we did have a plan that was limited to 20 to 24 gigs or something a month and then after that we get charge extra and then Verizon launched their uh, unlimited plan and it was a lateral for us price wise from the XL so we did that um, but there are caps on the data for tethered devices and that's 10 gigs per device um, to be honest we used a lot of data up until this last month and this is the first month that Verizon has slowed us down or deprioritized it whatever you want to call it So anyway, right now we're at a campground outside of Lynchburg, Virginia, and the service here is horrendous. Um, there are no cell towers very close. Um, our phones are fairly slow. Uh, the MiFi is slow. The RV park doesn't have Wi-Fi really. Um, we did go in and use Walmart's and Wi-Fi and the coffee shops have done to do some uploading and to do some updating on our computers. Um, but that still sucks too to sit you know in Walmart at one point the other day when I was in Walmart uploading some videos because we had a bunch to upload but it takes so long here because we're so far from the towers it literally was faster for us to tether to our phones and, and do that so Walmart you know doesn't have the fastest Wi-Fi um, coffee shop I went to the other day did um, so uh, we're in an effort to try to get a little bit better what better place than in a remote area to test something? Um, so if you were to shop around out online, there are many boosters and antennas that will cost you an upwards of, you know, fifty, sixty, seventy dollars on up to four or five hundred dollars and more, uh, depending on how much you want to boost and how strong a single you want. Um, so we, you know, being on a budget, decided to try this. It is a 4G antenna. They claim 35 decibels uh, increase uh, that just plugs right into my MiFi and gives me a better signal. In theory, it's all really good. Um, and I'll tell you that this was $19.99, free shipping from Amazon Prime. Got it in two days or something. Um, it can be plugged into two devices. It does have two jacks. Um, I would only use one. And typically, right now where I'm at, the the, the closest tower, because I used an app on my computer to find where the closest tower is, so I could point this at the, the tower. So the closest tower is over there. And everybody knows that RVs especially, being constructed of aluminum and metal, um, do restrict service somewhat. So. Um, this has a suction cup. I suction cupped it to my window. Um, had my MiFi where we normally keep it, which also happened to be where I was getting the best signal, you know, ironically enough. Um, and I ran a couple tests. So we will, I'll show you here what the results are of those tests. And trust me, it, 
it helped, but it's like taking the worst case scenario a little bit above that. All right, so the results are in. All right, so I did three tests, um, both. I measured upload and download speeds, both without and with the antenna, with the MiFi in the same location, plugged into the wall all times, and then plugged into the, the same cord on the antenna. Um, so, out of my, th and trust me, none of these results are great by any means. It's still very poor. Um, keep in mind that I am throttled down right now to 3G speeds on the MiFi, and I am very far from a, a tower in a, in a poor location. So, the increase on upload speed, um, the average was 0.63 megabytes per second before without the antenna and the average with the antenna was 0.65 megabytes which is an increase of 3.16 percent um, you know I would say that's not noticeable but honestly I've been doing some work this morning and it has been moving along fairly quickly now I haven't uploaded any videos but I've been uploading pictures and doing some maintenance on the website um, so I, 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 could, I could honestly notice a difference in uploading uh, photos. All right, for download, um, so the average download speed without the antenna was 0.46 megabytes per second. Um, with the antenna, the average speed was 0.56 megabytes per second. So that is a average of 23.36% better with the antenna um, that you know that's substantial um, I'd be curious to see you know if we were in a better spot um, but being in such a poor spot you know it's, it's hard to say but you know I could go out and probably spend more money and get a little bit more um, but bang for buck this might have helped um, we'll see I will use it for a while and we'll see how it goes and I will report more later. Thanks for watching.